So boys, how was school today? Any uh, any grades to report? I got an A in gym. I got a B in Orga. So. Neil, I, I'm I'm very proud of you. Yep. And uh, and Harris, you are an absolute disgrace. That it's Orgo. It's a tough class. I don't hear it. Dad, Neil, there's something I gotta tell you guys. What? You want another cat, Harris? No. Jesus, we have seven. Cats, cat. Harris! It's not a cat. And every time you ask for another cat, I feel obligated because, quite frankly, I love cats. Dad. But the financial obligation has been substantial. Not to mention the scent in here. No, it's not. I mean, yes, suppose we got another cat. How much more of a commitment would that be? We're feeding seven, might as well feed it. All right, that makes sense, Dad. But... The medical care, however, is disconcerting. Say one of our cats needs an operation, and so does the eighth cat. Who do we choose? Do we pick the new cat because he or she is a lot cuter? Is that morally reprehensible? These are important considerations. I didn't want- Not to mention, how is the cat in question going to fit in with the gang? We've already got a serious chemistry with our existing cat clan. With the exception of Linus, of course, but he's always been marching to the beat of his own drum. Dad, you're right, but that's irrelevant. We should stop talking about- I don't even want then a cat. Then again, perhaps this cat becomes a leader in his own right. Right now, Whiskers is the alpha male, that much is clear, but truth be told, he takes himself a little too seriously. You don't see him cuddling up in bed with the other cats, or, or even us humans for that matter. It's not about the cat. You know what? The more I think of it, I'm a little fed up with the catmosphere in here, okay? You take that to Miriam, Webster, and whoever else is in charge of nouns in this country because catmosphere is a real thing. Whiskers is no saint. Linus is a loner. Hell, I probably like Mittens the best out of the group. And to be honest, Mittens isn't anything special, okay? We could probably pick up a stray on the street with a better sense of humor, better leaping ability for sure. Stop, Dad. You're overreacting. It's not a Realistically, case. we don't have that raw, raw spirit, that outgoing personality, that here, here, my fellow feline friends, welcome to the tea party and thank you for coming. Let's limit all conversation to those of sophisticated nature and let us enjoy each other's company Meow. We don't have the cat who has the charisma, the enthusiasm, the chutzpah. We don't have the cat! God, Dad. Harris, forget the bee. I'm on board. Let's do this. This is an amazing idea. Let's get this cat. Let's get number eight. This cat is going to change everything. Dad, I don't like cats. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, could you, could you, could you just repeat? I like dogs better than cats. I don't care what you think. How long? I went to Marty's the other night, and he has a dog, and it's really friendly. And I honestly like them more than cats. Get out. What do you mean, Dad? Get out of this house, Harris. Why? Get out before Garfunkel hears you. Get out. What do you mean, Dad? Harris, get out of the house. <laughs> Something you gotta say to me too, Neil? Huh? No. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs>